to the next episode of Do It Yourself from House to Home. If you're new here, my name is Ellie and we do lots of fun crafting and DIYs on this channel. And today I'm so excited to be participating in a fun collab hosted by Deco Easy and Kiki DIY. And today we are doing high-end decor for cheap. So I'll be sure to leave the links to their channel as well as the playlist in my description box and let's get right to it! Alrighty, for our first high-end dupe today, I wanted to make a eucalyptus wreath. As you can see, they can get very, very pricey, so I decided to make one for cheaper. So I'll be using this metal wreath form from the Dollar Tree, as well as these eucalyptus leaves from Walmart. And then I'll also be using some of these cute little white floral picks. These were from Hobby Lobby, original price was $7.99, but I got them for 50% off, I believe. And then I'll be using some of this uh, floral wire to secure our leaves on our wreath as well. So first I just started off by deciding how I wanted to lay our leaves. And then once I have a good idea of how I want them to be, I'm going to go in and secure each leaf with a piece of floral wire. Next I'm going to go ahead and add in these cute little white floral picks as well. Next, I use my hot glue gun to add a few little leaves into some open areas, as well as some more little white floral picks. Alrighty, and here is how our beautiful wreath turned out. Lastly, I'm just going to tie a piece of jute twine to the top so that I can hang it. And that'll be it for this DIY. For our next high-end dupe, I was inspired by this cute little whitewashed home tray from Kirkland's. And I found one very similar at Goodwill for $2.49. So first I'm just going to go in and remove these tags. And then I'm going to paint it using this white Waverly chalk paint. Now that it's all dry, I'm going to go in with my ruler just so I can measure out where I'm going to put those lines, as well as the center home sign. Next, I use my Scylla Cameo 4 to print out the word home, as well as four gray lines that I'm going to apply to our tray. Next, I'm going to use some transfer paper to apply the word home to the center of our tray. Lastly, I'm going to go in with some more of that white Waverly chalk paint on a dry brush and I'm just going to distress our tray a little bit to give it that white washed effect. And that'll be it for this cute little Kirkland stoop tray. What do you guys think? For our next project today, I was inspired by these beautiful farmhouse candlestick holders. So I went down to my local Goodwill and I found these beautiful glass candle holders for $3.49 and the bigger one was $4.49. And I thought I could turn them into some really cute farmhouse candle holders. So I went ahead and gave them a couple of coats of this Rust-Oleum Ultra Matte White Spray Paint inside of my portable spray tent. And here's how they look now that they are all dry. So next I'm going to give it a little bit of accent here with this Waverly chalk paint in the color ink. And I'm just going to go in with a really small paintbrush and just make a little mark here and there just to distress them a bit. And last but not least, I'm going to seal our candle holders using some of this satin clear enamel and that'll be it for this DIY. 
For our next project today, I was inspired by this cute little farm fresh sign. So I decided to use the back of a sign that I already had in my stash. So I'm just going to paint the border and the inside of the sign using this white Waverly chalk paint. Next, I use my Scylla Cameo 4 to print out this stencil that says natural products, farm fresh market produce with love. And I'll just apply it to our sign using some of this Waverly chalk paint in the color ink and a stencil brush. And last but not least, I'm going to go in with some of this Waverly chalk paint in the color Mineral and Steel just to distress it a bit on a dry brush. And that'll be it for this cute vintage farmhouse sign. For our last DIY today, I was inspired by these two decorative wooden boxes. The first one says Thankful and the second one says Blessed. And each of them retail for about $20. So for this dupe, I'm going to be using three of these wooden boxes from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to start off by using my hot glue gun to attach them together. Next, I'm going to stain our boxes using this Min Wax wood finish in the color Ebony. And once they're all dry, I use my Scylla Cameo 4 to print out these two stencils, one that says thankful and blessed, and I'm just going to apply them on either side of our crepe here so that it's reversible. And then I'm going to fill it using this Hello Hobby white chalk paint. Once I finish weeding the stencil, I'm just going to add a few pieces of this Dollar Tree floral foam and some of these beautiful little floral picks from Hobby Lobby. And that'll be it for today's DIYs. so much for watching today's episode you guys i really hope you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button as well as that notification bell to be notified when i release new content and i'll be sure to leave the link to today's playlist so you can check out all the other amazing creators as well as the links to my etsy shop and my social media in my description box thanks see you next time